time-based media. Now, MLA is very interesting. The MLA is quite different from APA. APA are many very specific rules. You check the book and it helps you very clearly. MLA is much more about kind of a rule of thumb, a general idea, follow this guideline and you can work from there. MLA also spends a lot more time on saying how can you get other media inside of your paper, such as from podcasts and videos and movies. So MLA is very interesting this way, although it can be confusing because it's not always super clear exactly how you should do something. So MLA likes to make recommendations. So they say that, for example, if you have audio or video, you need to try to include information such as the hours, the minutes, and the seconds of the audio or video. So for example, Buffy's promise that there is not going to be any incidents like at my old school is obviously not one which she can follow through. Here, Buffy, because this in this case you're going to see when we do the reference list in the next section, this is the name of the TV show, and this is the time, hours, minutes, seconds, and the seconds is beginning and end. Where does it start? Where does it end? Where does this quotation start? And where does this quotation end? This is very different from the APA approach. In this case, it's a completely different kind of style. So pay attention to that, something to watch out for.